everybody, Anna VSG here, um, coming to you with my week 75 update, month 17. Uh, just a really quick update to let you know where I am at. Uh, had vertical sleep gastrectomy on March 28th, 2016. Dr. Giselle Hamad at UPMC McGee Hospital for Women in Pittsburgh, PA. At the time of surgery, I weighed 292 pounds, and that is my starting weight. I did not have a pre-op diet that required me to lose weight. My highest ever weight was 301 in October of 2015, but... Um, for the purposes of my uh, weight loss, I used the, the 292. Last time, I came to you at week 72 uh, with a weight of 182.4, and uh, that had been after my trip to Portugal where I ate and drank and was merry, and um, I had a slight gain from um, the weight that I had when I left, which was 187.3. I, um, shortly, about a week ago, um, I got down to 188.1. Um, I feel like a lot of the weight that I had, um, gained while away was bloat and um that seemed to go away fairly quickly um i've been at 188.1 haven't weighed myself yet this week so we'll see what it is next week so um i've been back for two weeks a little bit over two weeks and i'm almost back to my regular weight so i'm gonna call my gain of my trip uh less than a pound i am ecstatic about that which means so far since surgery i've lost 104 pounds which is fantastic um i have kind of discovered a couple things these last couple weeks i'm transitioning back to you know my old ways of eating uh lots of greens lots of um salad protein and fats and i thought last time um that we chatted that i was going to add my carbs back in and i did in the form of bread and some crackers nothing crazy i wasn't um having all the bread and all the crackers but i was indulging and I discovered that my body does not like um, those things so I um, have decided that I, I probably need to avoid wheat based um, items because I get really bloated and my stomach doesn't feel good um, my whole system doesn't function well so um, I think that was a lot of my weight gain while I was away was because I was eating bread every single day. So um, I just, I guess I hadn't noticed that that was an issue for me, but it, but it is. I um, haven't decided to return to keto per se. Um, I, I guess it is keto. I'm, I, I am going to eat low carb and Look, there's my cat. My cat always comes in while I'm doing these. Um, I'm going to eat low carb and, um, you know, moderate protein and really just watch my quantity, uh, my portions, um, and, and, and make sure that, um, I'm getting as much of a balanced diet as possible. Um, I am going to keep eating some of the higher carb items like potatoes, sweet potatoes, and possibly some quinoa and rice, but on a limited uh, basis. So um, maybe once, twice a week as a carb up. Um, so I know there's people that do um, serious keto who do not believe in carb ups. Um, I follow a different uh, protocol and um, that's just a choice I make. So you know, whatever, whatever works for you. Um, so like I said, I've lost 104 pounds since surgery, ecstatic about that. I, I still need to lose another 50 pounds in all reality. I am almost 40, I'm 45, I'll be 46 in March. And I, um, I feel like my hormones are against me um, in, in actually achieving that. So I'm trying to figure out what it is that I need to do to lower that weight um, because I've been, it's been, it's been really slow going just to get into the 180s. So um, 
trying to get into the 130s just seems really far away. It seems as far away as it as the 199 seemed when I initially had surgery. So, um, so yeah, I'm just trying to figure out what I need to do as far as getting back into a weight loss mode. Um, I have a couple of goals in mind. I haven't really talked about them too much, um, but one of the ones that I would like to reach is to get into the overweight category, which was what my surgeon had said for me, which would be um, in 160 pounds, I believe. So that's about 28 pounds away for me. And um, ultimately, I think a comfortable weight for me might be in the 140s. Uh, I'm only 5'2", so I, there's not a lot of height to work with, so uh, we'll see. I'm just going to experiment and maybe uh, play around with, you know, cutting back on my overall protein and just eating more greens. I don't know. Uh, something else that I need to do is get back to the gym. I haven't returned since I came back um, from vacation, and I feel really... Um, floppy <laughs> like there's no um like my I feel like my muscle is going away which might explain ew look at that what is that it's like stretch marks there anyhow sorry um I don't know I just feel like I need to get back in the gym because I feel I feel good when I'm working out uh which may mean that the scale is gonna go back up so we'll see um I don't know what else I have for you. Um, <laughs> that's basically it. This might be like the shortest update I've ever done. I hope that everybody is doing well. Um, and um, yeah, this is why I only do them every two weeks because I don't have a lot to talk about anymore. I have to, I have to figure out um, some topics to address. Um, if you want to. If you want to hear anything from me, let me know. Um, if you have questions, um, comments, uh, anything, a topic for next time, that would be great because I'm running out of ideas. So, all right. I hope everybody is great and you had a great long weekend. I'm already looking forward to this upcoming weekend. Um, so, yeah. All right. Take care. Bye.